What is up my gaming peeps? Gaming Dude back once again with a different video in the series. I figured I've been wanting to do this for a while but I've been putting it off because I just had no idea what to say for it. Um, I've decided to start kind of a review segment on the channel of games that I play, new games that I play that is. So uh, coming up it'll be Days Gone, I'm about to do one on The Walking Dead as you can tell from the title. Uh, so uh, let's just get straight into it. And I'll drop my shout outs and appreciations at the end of the video. So I've just uh, I've purchased The Walking Dead, the final season, today as it finally got its physical disc release in the UK. It came out today. And holy shit balls to the end of the first episode. I mean, wow. Uh, but I'll get into detail on that in a little bit. So throughout the episode, I noticed a lot of sneaky callbacks to the first season. Uh, like um, when they're fishing, for example, it's kind of like a callback to when like they're looking for food at the grocery store, <laughs> which is uh, it's, it's a nice little callback. Uh, there's the bit with uh, AJ and Clem in the train station. So that's kind of a callback to season one as well, where Lee puts Clem over the bars and uh, there's a walker in the room. Uh, that was a rather nice callback as well. So it. Clem's like, oh, I can't fit through there, but he can. Kind of like a Lee Clementine thing. He's like, oh, I can't fit through there, but send the little girl, that's fine. And Clem's the same. She's like, oh, just send the little kid. It's fine. It's fine. It's cool. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that was a nice little callback. I did really like that. Uh, how I love how Clementine is taking everything that Lee taught her and implementing it onto AJ. She's also taking everything that the group from season two taught her, so Kenny and uh, AJ's parents and the rest of them. Uh, she's taking elements from what happened in season three as well, already in the first episode, which is great. What I, what I loved outright uh, was how you jump straight into the gameplay going into that train station, and then there's, like that, a disaster happens. It's obviously, they're looking for food. That's how it comes down to it in The Walking Dead. How it comes down to it in any Apocalypse series. And they open this trap door and a grenade pops out. And she's like, shit, it's rigged. But she stays there for a moment. To, she pauses for a moment to look at the grenade. It's like... And then they move. It's like, wouldn't you move straight away? It's like, you see a grenade, you're just, you're just going to go... Huh? And then move. <laughs> it's like... Oh, man. Uh, but still, it is, a, it is a really great game so far. I've only just done the first episode. I'm limiting myself because there's only four episodes in, this, in the season, so I don't want to complete them all at once. Uh, I will be dropping a gameplay video tonight as well, so just stay tuned for that, guys. Uh, but so far, I am seriously enjoying the game. Uh, like I said, there's a lot of callbacks to previous seasons, mostly season one that I've seen in episode one. Uh, but getting right down to what I actually wanted to do this video for, the end of episode one. And if, if you haven't seen the game, if you haven't played the game, just turn off the video now, because spoiler alert. Um, dramatic is one word, one way of putting it. So Clem's woken up in the middle of the night, so is AJ. Uh, they hear shouting and screaming from the basement, which is really weird. Like, sound must really carry in that boarding school. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, Clem, Clem decides to go and investigate, and it turns out that uh, Marilyn's arguing with Brody, uh, the two lead characters of the first episode. And, you know, Clem gets involved in the confrontation they're having, uh, Brody's trying to tell Clementine something that's be clearly been eating her up inside and she just wants to tell someone about it. And Brody... Uh, Brody just gets outright smacked in the side of the head with a flashlight. Marlin just totally, bang, pops, takes her down. She's down, she's dazed, she's dying, she's losing blood. And Clem's just like, what the fuck? <laughs> I mean, I would probably be the same. I'd be like, dude, you're dead. I'd, I'd just stab him in the neck or some shit. I won't let him get away with that. And, you know, he, he he's like, there's got to be a first aid kit down here somewhere. And Clem's like, a first aid kit? Really? She's fucking dead, man. <laughs> uh, but Brody, with her dying breath, Clementine's trying to jog her memory, try and keep her alert, keep her awake. But Brody is still dying, and with her dying breath, she finally tells Clementine what Marlon did. 
And obviously Clementine gets really salty about this. She's like, don't worry, I will take care of him. And uh, Marlon decides the only way to keep everybody else safe, to keep his little secret safe, is to leave the now dead Brody to turn and kill Clementine. But, you know, this this kid doesn't know Clem. He doesn't know what Clem's been through. Clem can take down a walker like that. She's got no need to worry about a single walker. Uh, I, I guess I guess he thought because Brody would be a fresh walker uh, that you know he'd stand a chance of killing her with it because fresh walkers are kind of rare unless somebody dies of natural causes or gets bitten, which is rare because it's been so many years in the apocalypse. People know how to take care of themselves. Uh, but yeah, Marilyn locks her in the cellar. Then you're tasked to find uh, something to open the cellar, which means you've got to find the flashlight. And already, when you come back down the stairs, you can see the trail of blood. You can see she's turned really fucking quick. She's turned within, like, the space of a minute, maybe two minutes. So in the time it's taken Marilyn to get up those stairs and you to come back down, she's turned. And straight away, when, when I saw that trail of blood, I was like, oh, God, she's turned. So I, I went up to the stairs thinking, oh, well, maybe, you know, we can just open the door. And then I could hear the moaning. I could hear the growling. I was like, oh, I'm going to get attacked. I thought I thought I was gonna die and it'd be game over and it'd start me from the the beginning of that little scene, but it didn't. I got through it. Uh, so naturally, you kill the now Walker version of Brody, getting the flashlight covered in blood. There's um, like red coming from the flashlight, so that that was kind of cool. That was like a trippy mood light sort of thing. And um, Clem finally gets out. She sees Marlon stand standing in the middle of the group. Uh, AJ's pointing a gun at him like a little fucking badass he is. Uh, and um, he's pleading with AJ. He's like, put the damn gun down. You know, I, I just saw Clem kill Brody. Everybody's like, what, what, why, why, why would you do that? Is that blood on your face? You know, and then Clem comes up. I went with the choice of you're so full of shit. So Clem comes in storming and she's like, you're so full of shit. And then um, Marlon's like, uh, well, look at her. She's covered in Brody's blood. She killed Brody. And then everyone's starting to swing towards Marlon's way because, you know, they've known him longer, they trust him, and I'm just a stranger that's literally just turned up. And um, basically, I turn everyone against him. <laughs> I play the pity card, I play the typical, like, I'm the new person, you must trust me pity card. <laughs> uh, I appeal to Violet as opposed to Louis, and I see a lot of people, when I finish the episode, actually went with that choice as well. Uh, but that's what I really like about the Telltale games, how when you finish the episode, it matches it up with everyone else's choices in the world. Uh, but moving on, um, what I really found interesting was when you talk him down, he lowers his gun. He drops his gun, drops his guard. Everyone's like, look, you did a bad thing, but we're family. You know, this is all we've known. We've known each other for years. Uh, this is Lewis pleading to Marlin. He's like, look. You, you, you kind of like my best friend, you like my brother. I don't want to see you leave because Marlon's like, oh, I'm, I'm going to leave. You know, you'll never have to see me again. And then when it comes down to my choice of what to say, I was going to let him stay. I'd be like, look, you can stay, but not as leader. That's what I was going to go with. And then all of a sudden, brains flying all over the screen and all over Clem's face. It, the, the dead body of Marlon now drops in Clementine's arm and Clem's like, she looks down at him. And then slowly looks up, and AJ's holding the gun. It's AJ that killed him. I was like, what the fuck? Is this what I'm, is this what I'm taught him is okay in this first episode? Is this what Clem's taught him was okay since the time skip after season three? Just to outright kill a dude who lowers his gun? And in the back, man. He shot him in the back. Who, who does that? Who does that? <laughs> That's like shooting someone in the dick. You just, no, you just don't do that. But the, the shock of it, I was like, if, if I was doing a reaction video as I was playing that, you would have literally seen, I was like, I, I just paused and I was, I just went, what the fuck? Uh, but AJ's like, what? Just casually goes, what? I saved one for myself. <laughs> I was like, you little dick. <laughs> it was like, you cocky little shit. You know, you've just killed a dude in cold blood in the back. And you're just like, I got one for myself. <laughs> oh, man, I'm looking forward to episode two. 
Uh, but tonight I'm going to leave it. I am, I'm really wanting to continue playing it. Um, but overall, I would give it a 10 out of 10 for the first episode. Emotional, everything a Walking Dead game needs, everything a Walking Dead episode needs. Dramatic, uh, full of suspense, uh, full of walkers, which is more than can be said for the actual show these days, because the show, they just show a couple of walkers and then it's people. Oh yeah, more people. Uh, so that, that's why I'm really sad that the uh, Walking Dead series is on the game is coming to an end. <laughs> Uh, but there are there are a lot of other places I can go with it. It will be really interesting to see what Skybound do with it now. Maybe uh, go back to the New Frontier or do a do a game based on Rick. That would be really cool if they did that. Um, so let me know in the comments what you guys think. Have you guys played the episode? What did you think to the end of episode one? Uh, what was your reactions? Just let me know in the comments with an emoji or just with like what your initial reaction was when you saw that happen or when you played the episode. Um, I will also be doing reviews for each episode as I finish them. Uh, so my, my uh, review of it is fresh in my mind. I've still got the content fresh in my mind because I've got a terrible memory. And if I saved this for tomorrow, I'd have to play the episode again to know what happened because I'd just completely forget. I've, I've Terrible memory. I can't even remember the, my mum's birthday. I'd forget my own birthday if it wasn't screwed in. <laughs> uh, so, um, basically, it's it's one of the best games I've played so far. Like, of the year so far, I mean. And it's, it, it is fantastic. Uh, I really recommend it. If you haven't played it, I really do recommend it. Uh, as I said, I will be doing a review on each episode as they come to their conclusion. Uh, so that should be four days worth of extra extra videos and extra content, extra base stuff. Uh, let me know as well if you want to see me do reviews on other games, because uh, I have pre-ordered Days Gone. I would be more than happy when I've finished that game, or while I'm in between that game, to do a review on Days Gone. I'm thinking of doing a review on Just Cause 4, because I have a lot of beefs and issues with Just Cause 4. It's just it's just terrible. It's just putting it nicely, it's terrible. Uh, but yeah, I would save that for a review video. If you guys are wanting to see it, let me know. Uh, I'm thinking of doing one on the Grand Tour game as well. Uh, naturally, I won't be able to show any gameplay, because, you know, YouTube, copyright, that's why I'm on this 90-day ban. Thank you very much. Uh, speaking of, there's uh, literally just under two weeks left of that now. Uh, so also let me know what you want to see from me when I am able to live stream again. Uh, naturally, of course, we will continue our Detroit Become Human playthrough, Uncharted. Uh, we'll be continuing our Telltale game series, picking that right up where we left off. Uh, I will drop the schedule for that nearer the time. Uh, but yeah, uh, I think that's just about covered it for this review. Let me know what you guys thought of it. Let me know if uh, you want to see more reviews on more games. Like I say, Just Cause 4, Days Gone when it's out. I'll be more than happy to do that. Be more than happy to drop any reviews on any games that I've got as well. Uh, so, yeah, that, that's that's about it for this video. Stay tuned in a little while because I will be uploading another video from some gameplay. Any game, it's just I'll just pick one at random for the 90 Day Streaming Band series. Uh, yeah, this has been Gamer Dude. Happy gaming. And I'll catch you all real soon.